Hey, welcome back to Life on the Wrist. Hope you're doing well. So today we're going to be discussing my alternatives to the Rolex the Manor. This is a widely discussed topic within the watch world of people who are trying to find alternative watches to the Rolex the Manor. So I thought I'd throw my two cents in and give you my opinion on what watches I would pick to be alternatives to the Rolex the Manor. This is obviously a very a hard conversation to have, especially because um, there are some Rolex and Mariner purists, and 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 it's just it's 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 basically saying the Rolex and Mariner is a staple within the watch world, just in general, and I think that's very very true. The Rolex and Mariner is obviously one of the most replicated watches within the watch world, which is pretty insane to think about. Um, it's uh, I mean I can totally appreciate the fact that it is, especially because it's such a uh, iconic style. It fits very well in the wrist, and um, is a watch that a lot of people try to build up to and and mark uh, life events with um, it also you know going back to the real reason why the Rolex Samaritan came about it really does its job correctly as a dive watch so I'm going to be discussing that but if you are new to the channel and before we get into my picks if you are new to the channel um, welcome to life on the wrist we are a watch um, YouTube channel and blog we blog about just about anything about watches we also have a, a store where we sell some some pieces that we source for our for clients but obviously we sometimes have a few things in stock so definitely check that out the link is in the description but if you are new to the youtube channel make sure to hit that subscribe button we create videos um three times a week monday wednesday friday is when we upload them so definitely hit that uh, bell icon if you're interested in in being notified when we do upload videos um, and also while you're right by that subscribe button the like uh, the thumbs up button is right nearby so if you wouldn't mind hitting that that does help us out with the YouTube algorithm which is obviously greatly appreciated so thank you so much for doing that now back into the watches um, just before we get into the watches that I picked as the alternatives I want to go over a few assumptions that I've made to decide which watches that I would include in this video um, the first assumption is based is, is a price uh, range um, the watches that I'm choosing are at or below the price of a Rolex Submariner. The reason why I'm doing this is because perhaps you um, are trying to save up for a Rolex Submariner but don't have uh, enough free cash to, to do so. So these are some alternatives that perhaps are a little bit cheaper and will still be uh, amazing value for every dollar that you spend on a watch, but also um, great looking watches. So it's at or below the, the price of a Rolex Submariner. Um, if you're looking at um, buying, if you maybe have a Rolex Submariner but you're looking for a new diver that has some similar style elements to the Rolex Submariner, these are also great options. Um, so that's why I've decided to, to kind of put that price uh, assumption in there. The second is that um, these watches are not homages; these are their own watches, and obviously the category is going to be in the dive watch. Um, kind of uh, realm of watches. Uh, the reason why I'm doing that is just because that really are those that those, those watches become alternatives to, for the Rolex Submariner. So that's the next one. The third, and this is just a disclaimer for anyone who is watching this video. These picks are, of my opinion, watches that I would choose to replace the Rolex Submariner in, in my collection, or perhaps be a alternative to the Rolex Submariner. Obviously, you may have a few different picks. Um, and I would love to hear about those in the comment section below. Let me know what assumptions you made to, to identify these watches and let me know what those watches are because obviously if this is if people are watching this video and they see your alternative, it may spur on some ideas for them. So those are my assumptions that I have made in order to pick these watches. So getting into the watches, the first watch that I chose in this watch, I speak about at length at Life on the Wrist on, on many of my videos and I've had a few in our store. Um, that I've sold to very, very happy clients, and that is a Tudor Heritage Black Bay. Uh, this watch retails for about 2.5 to 3,000 uh, US dollars. Um, obviously, this price range is based on, um, you know, if it is new, if it's used, as well as the condition that it comes in, and if it has box papers, all those types of things. So, um, the price range may fluctuate, but it's around there, and I think you can find some a quality Tudor, Tudor Heritage Black Bay for around that on the used market. If you're looking for a watch that's new, I'm sure you can find one um, for at or around maybe a little bit more that price range. <clears throat> um, the reason why I picked this Tudor Heritage Black Bay as one of the alternatives is that it really does have a great style and it fits your wrist really well, first and foremost. It does have similar stylistic elements to the Rolex Submariner with, you know, um, a dive bezel, a very, very simple dial, very, very legible. It also fits very well on the wrist, which is something that's important if you are going to be engaging in the sport of diving. Having a watch that fits well and is legible is super important. So um, those are the first two just stylistic elements and I guess aesthetic elements that I really, really like. I also like the fact that some of these Tudor Heritage Black Bays 
There are some that have ETA-based movements, but there are also some that have in-house movements. It really sets it apart from its parent company, Rolex, which it's obviously, obviously oftentimes it's associated with Rolex as, you know, it's the, it's the cheaper Rolex or whatever. But the fact that Tudor has their in-house movements, I find the Heritage Black Bay to be kind of its own um, stylistic watch, which I really, really like. So it's really kind of separated itself from Rolex in the past 10 years with some amazing pieces that they've released. And this Heritage Black Bay is definitely um, an alternative. Also, um, you know, the price range that, that it comes in is extremely affordable, especially when you compare it to Rolex and Mariners and the prices that they are fetching um, nowadays. So um, this is definitely a watch that you should consider and probably is already on your line if you're uh, on your mind if you're looking for alternatives. Um, if you are looking, if you've if this has been on your mind and this is an obvious pick, I want to just throw my throw my hat in and say this is a really great alternative and something that you will enjoy if you end up getting your hands on it as opposed to Rolex Submariner. So that is my first pick. My second pick is um, a watch that's oftentimes uh, debated and um, kind of battled against the Rolex Submariner, and that is the Omega Seamaster Planet Ocean. This watch retails or retails can go for between three three thousand and five thousand US dollars depending on if it's new or used like I said for the last pick as well as the condition that it comes in and the accoutrement that perhaps um, can be uh, can be a part of it like box and papers um, Omega really does have its own heritage its own stylistic elements it also has its own um, history and stories that it can tell about the watches that it made previously they obviously had some amazing um, vintage watches but they've also created some divers that have been used by a lot of military companies just like Tudor uh, with the uh, with their um, submariners and um, you know their relationship with the French uh, French dive, uh, French military divers uh, Omega has a very very similar um, relationships and a really great heritage that comes with it um, also this planet ocean has a 600 meter water resistance so if you are looking to use this as a as what it was built for which is a dive watch 600 meters will be uh, plenty for you to to go to go on for sure um, comparing this to the Rolex and Mariner um, it also has its own stylistic elements with a very very different a type of dial the bracelets a lot different as well as the fact that it has that helium escape valve which is if i'm going to be completely honest it's just pretty badass to have a helium escape valve on a watch that you can enjoy um, so uh, it has that extra little element that the rolex of mariner uh, perhaps doesn't have those you know having two crowns on a watch is pretty cool um, has it's another element that you'll be able to talk to talk about when you talking with other watch um, people who are interested in watches um, and for around 3,000 or up to 5,000, you know, thereabouts, I think you're going to get um, a really great watch. I think this is something that perhaps if you're not, if you want a dive watch, but you're not looking for Rolex Samara, this is a great alternative. You can find some that are, are cheaper um, if you're looking to not save up as much uh, for that Rolex Samara. You kind of just want something to fill the time right now. Um, this is a the lower end, so you'll, you'll find um, some that, that will... Be in that price range but if not um, this is another alternative that you can have for sure so that's my second pick um and the last watch and this watch i actually have a re i really love this watch and i i wish i saw it on people's wrists a lot more um and this is the longines legend diver um, this is part of their heritage collection and obviously longines has an amazing heritage when it comes to uh, watches as well as um, dive watches. Um, obviously, this is kind of a reissue of their vintage um, diver that had, um, you know, very, very unique layout of the watch. It has two crowns, which is, in my opinion, a lot more unique than a Rolex Submariner. Um, people will see the two crowns, and it's not something that you see very, very often on people's wrists, which I really like. Um, the uh, Obviously, the one of the the, the movement that's running inside of this watch is the L888 from Longines, but it's based on a ETA movement, so you're going to get a very robust movement and you're not really paying a premium for um, this watch. I believe this goes for new, I believe it goes for about 3,000 US dollars. Um, I, I may be wrong there, but um, that's uh, approximately how much it will go for. It also You can also get it with a date function, which will, is obviously a useful function to have. Um, it also has an inner rotating bezel that is um, changed by the top crown, which um, is the diving. It helps you keep time when you're diving. So it's an extremely unique design. It comes from a company that I think is kind of focusing on 
the core of what, what makes up long jeans, which I like. I think they're trying to get back to it instead of just creating things that they think people are going to purchase. They're getting back to their real, um, their roots, what they do well. Um, and, and I think that's really great. Um, for $3,000, uh, 3,000 US dollars, I think this is an amazing alternative, especially because it isn't as expensive. It's more, un I find the design a little bit more unique, not something you see on everyone's wrist very often and a company that has great heritage. So it definitely w made my list for one of the Rolex American alternatives. There are obviously, you know, those are my, those are my three picks, the Tudor Heritage Black Bay, the Omega Seamaster Planet Ocean, and the Longines Legend Diver. Those are my three picks, but there are so many other alternatives. There's Oris that makes amazing dive watches that you can explore. There's also uh, a Seiko SKX, which is um, a, a extremely affordable alternative to uh, Rolex Submariner. I guess these are, um, you know, a little bit more expensive, uh, perhaps from companies that um, uh, look for premiums when it comes to the watches that they're creating. Uh, but uh, I think these are amazing alternatives, especially compared to the Rolex Submariner. Um, I, if I was to pick one of uh, one of these, <laughs> uh, this is tough, honestly, because I've 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 been able to handle a lot of Tudor Heritage Black Bays, which would be my go-to. But I actually think I would go with the Longines Legend Diver. It's a little bit more affordable. You can add it to your collection. So if you're looking to spend about five thousand dollars, you can probably add a watch on top of that um, that you can enjoy. I also like the fact that it has two crowns. It's a little bit more unique. Um, and I've, I think it would fit my wrist a little bit more, a little bit better. So um, I think I'd go to the Longines Legend Diver. Let me know which of the of these three, which um, alternative would you go for when you're looking for an alternative to the Rolex Submariner? I would love to hear your opinions. Also, if you have a watch that you think would be a better alternative from these three, let me know in the comments section below. I think it, this is a great discussion to have because you can actually, if people are stumbling on this video because they're trying to find a Rolex Submariner alternative, they may read your comment and, and explore that and that could end up helping them. If that is the case, if you are looking at this and you read a comment where you talk about it, where someone mentions a watch that uh, you end up buying, just just let them know that they they helped you out with with picking what watch they were they were going to buy i think that is a cool way of of at least acknowledging the fact that they helped you out in the in the slightest so if you've made this far really appreciate you guys watching this video um i said in the beginning of the video but you if you haven't uh just hit that like button it would really help us out um if you like this video um also uh comment below what your alternatives are i've said that as well um and with that said guys i hope you enjoyed this video and until next time